Last year, GP Weiser brought up a uh, whiskey to help out the NHL alumni, and uh, they did only, it was a one-shot deal, 10,000 bottles, and the bottles went uh, in about a month. So I phoned them back to uh, ask them to continue, but uh, on a personal business instead of uh, being part of the NHL alumni, and they couldn't. So uh, Gilles came to me, and uh, my friend Gilles, he started uh, there was some, some wine in uh, Niagara, Calis, and uh, he, uh, I asked him, I said, uh, why don't we start a, a wine with my name on it? And uh, he said, yeah, he said, it uh, would be a good idea. I said, it's about time, you know. We've been knowing each other for 40 years, and uh, you just wake up right now. <laughs> so uh, we went to uh, Niagara-on-the-Lake to visit some vineyard, and uh, especially Taz, that gave us the opportunity of uh, having their wine and uh, we tested the wine uh, for about three three days, you know, three different trips. We went back back and forth, and uh, we decided to uh, to put it on the market. People are uh, complaining about not making the playoff for so many years, and uh, you know, it's it's tough. You know, I look uh, I look back, and uh, uh, there's so many teams, and everybody wants to have the the, the best players on their team. And uh, for Montreal, uh, you know, we. Uh, spoiled them in the 70s and 50s, 60s, 70s, early 80s. So uh, it's it's our fault, you know, it's not <laughs> it's not whoever uh, th that's got the job as the manager or the president or uh, the owner. It's uh, the, the, but uh, I think they're trying their best and uh, hopefully uh, I really hope that one day they they make the playoff and they go for the Stanley Cup.